Hi, it's Dr. Burroughs, or you can call me Taylor. I wanted to talk today about the fine line between Mr. or Mrs. right now and how to be outcome independent. Now, if you don't know which one is the good one, hopefully this video will explain it to you. So outcome independence is this sort of term that I use in regards to an approach. It's like a mentality, a mindset where you're not going to be coercive or you're not going to be manipulative about getting what you want out of an inter interaction. So let's say you're dating or what I like to call vetting which is the getting to know you period before you decide to be exclusive with someone. So I don't like to say that people are dating when they're just sort of meeting people to get to know them. Uh, and I do encourage and advocate for women to be exclusive with a man if they're going to be sexually active. So assuming that it takes a little while for you to be sexually active with someone and exclusive with them, that period beforehand, I mean, you can call it like you're going out on dates, but it's really the vetting stage where you're determining if you're compatible, that logic component in my formula, logic plus desire plus love equals an ideal partnership. And if there is that sexual chemistry there too, and affection, obviously you want to be able to enjoy each other's company. So that process of vetting, you need to be outcome independent so that you aren't coercing or forcing the situation to being something just because you want it to work out. A lot of people do that. They jump ahead. They rush. They basically, they're not present with the actual person and trying to establish what it is. They're too focused on what they want it to be. And a lot of times that's because of fear or insecurity that whether if they're the woman and they're insecure and they really want a relationship, so they just sort of date men in order to try to make them a boyfriend. You know anyone like that? Yeah, that happens a lot. And so that type of person is not outcome independent. They are trying to force the outcome. So it might not be done consciously. And so that's why I want to bring it to your attention so that you don't do it, whether or not it's purposely or not. So with men, sometimes they do this consciously because they're looking for the score at the end of the interaction or maybe a couple of interactions. But ultimately, they're very pressurized in getting the number, getting, you know, the girl to come home with him and to rock her world. So that's also being outcome dependent. If instead you're outcome independent, then you're going to go into the, into the interaction on the date or whatever you're doing to get to know each other with an open mind. Like, ah, oh, I don't have some kind of forced situation that I'm trying to achieve at the end of this. I'm just going to really make this an enjoyable situation. I want to have fun. I want to get to know you and I want to bring the best me to this exchange as I can. And hopefully you do the same and whatever happens, whatever it is, great. Uh, I'll go from there. Now that doesn't mean like you don't care what happens, but just that you're not going to force it. So you're going to be present as it grows and as it unfolds, and you're going to assess things along the way because it's a lot healthier to approach it for what it is rather than what you want it to be and trying to force it to work, <laughs> which usually doesn't work, right? So that's outcome independence. And it's kind of based on the abundance mentality too, right? Because if you don't force it and if you're not worried that it doesn't work out, then you're much, much better at uh, just sort of accepting that it doesn't work out, whether she rejects you or he rejects you or vice versa, then you can kind of just, you know, call it a day and carry on. No harm, no foul. So a person who has the mentality of, I just need a Mr. Right right now, uh, or I need a Mrs. right now, I guess, right? Then in that situation, that person isn't necessarily outcome independent. They're actually more dependent. They're more codependent. They need company. They need intimacy. They need, and it's not really real intimacy. It's more just, you know, sexual intimacy, just that to have that warm body there. And so that person is going to be a lot less healthy because they don't know how to be alone. They're afraid of being alone. Or, you know, they just like the validation of having someone there. Maybe they haven't worked out whatever baggage they had from their previous relationship. And 
honestly, they really just want to have their cake and eat it too. They're not worried about the other person and how it affects them. They really are selfish and just want to take what they want and then leave when convenient. And so you really want to avoid these people as well, unless you're looking for something casual and that's a mutual thing between the two of you. But Instead of playing that game, you should absolutely just be clear and basically call it what it is. And that's, you know, that's up to you. I don't advocate for that. I think it's, it's really important to have quality relationships and maybe you're not ready for settling down and having a life partnership today, but at the least you should be wanting to have high quality relationships, even if they're short and that requires communication, trust, and honesty. So hopefully that explained the difference between Mr. and Mrs. right now and outcome independence and the fine line between the two. So leave me your comments below, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to reach out to me, you can go to my website. The link is below and you can request a free 15 minute discovery call with me. If you have any questions you'd like to talk one-on-one -on -one about. So hope you have a great day. Ciao.